Hello everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII. In the last episode, we once again continued walking through the fifth arc. And in fact, we came through this massive room. Kill the giant guy with an invisible blade hand thing. And in today's episode, we're going to hopefully, maybe, escape chapter 10. You never know. I'm not sure how much more of chapter 10 we've got. But let's go and kill some stuff. Hello there, bird thing. How are you today? There's only two of you? Oh, okay then. And as you're wondering, I did switch characters back to Lightning, Saz, and Vanille. Just to see how much better it goes, and... My god, Lightning's ATB gauge fills up so much quicker than Fangs. It's not even funny. I really like the build I've concocted for Lightning. I'm having a lot of fun with it. There we go, you're dead. Next on the menu... It's bird number two. 1,000 damage without stunning, isn't it? It's, it's crazy. Crazy good. What are you doing, bud? Hit him. I also know he does a lot of similar attacks to Sid. I already said there's a lot of, uh... Well, he does, like, the whole Mortal Kombat combo attack thing. And, of course, no spoils. Can we get a preemptive on you? Nice. I don't like fighting you. So I'm fine of getting a break. Alright, kill the zucchini thing. Hit it in the face. There we go. No more buffing for you, buddy. Down into the ground. There we go. Up we go. And of course he just survives. Feels bad. This guy won't be long joining him. Don't you worry. How did you miss? Come on. You're a trained professional fighter. How did you miss? There we go. Nicely done, says. Five star again, usual. And we get... Ooh. We actually get some spoils. Nice. Always good to get sturdy bones. Great for leveling up. And this is going to be the toughest fight yet. Because we've got two of the buffers. Everyone focus this one. Power chain his ass. Oh, they're both doing flipping dances. Stop it. Kill him. Ah, oh, been thingied. Time to use a quake then. So I have not had uh, a medic roll again. God damn it. Thanks. Heal me up, please. Thank you. Yeah, now we kill this guy. There we go. I am super buffed up, so this this won't take long. Okay, we got enough buffs. Now finish him off. Easy. I handled that well. Five star, maybe? No, only a four star. I feel bad. We still got a steady bone, though, so it's, it's fine. Not a problem. Moving up. This fifth arc is terrible for training. For a place that's meant to make Lissy stronger, not a very good grinding spot, really. Chapter 9 had that covered for you. Otherworldly bones. I have no idea if they're actually good or not. They might be. Ooh, here we go. Finally making some progress. Two at once. Bring it. You can avoid them if you want. You Get to the end. But I think we actually do have to kill them. Bring it on, Berserker. Stop forging that blade of yours. Gosh darn it. This guy. Right. 
Let's try and kill him like this now. At least cast haste on everyone, because haste is so overpoweredly broken. It's not even funny. Put fire on all our weapons, please. Trust me. You want our fire on all your weapons. The sky takes a lot of fire damage. Now we finish him off. I'm gonna die, I think. Yep. Didn't get healed in time. I hate when the invisible sword focuses you. Because then you just die. What we're gonna do... This time... Is actually... Start with Bully. Because that way we can get the buffs instantly. And have haste in the first turn, basically. See, I get to go first because of my item. Which is always hell of dope. Yeah, come on, Saz. Put the weapons on us. Vanille will debuff his ass. Come on. Hurry up, Vanille! Now we kill him. Got our enchantments. He takes increased ravager damage. And since my primary attack is ruin, we can kill him. Hurry up and get the stagger. Launch him up in the sky now, please. Thank you. Kill him before the sword kills you. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill him in time. This goddamn sword. So annoying. There we go. Ooh, Vanille survived a free HP. <laughs> that could have gone really bad. There we got a Transformer. So, worth for it. Yeah, why not? Hello, number two. I'm going to kill you the exact same way I killed the first guy. And that is just by pressing the A button. <laughs> Hopefully you debuff a lot quicker this time, Vanille. I was upset with your debuffing, Ellie. You didn't do that well. But today you're doing a lot better, so well done. Come on, keep going. Boom, boom, boom. Look how quick it comes back, though. Now we kill him. A lot more debuffs on him this turn. Look at the damage. That is about staggering, by the way. That is incredible. Actually, how much damage we've done. And the sword actually isn't killing our team this time. A lot better. I don't like when they use Ruin in the sky. It doesn't do that much damage. There's no one there. <laughs> Five star, Transformer. Very good. Thank you very much, game. Uh, excuse me, I have a door to open. Looks like it's a dead end. How about down there? If the stories are right, it's a maze. This place is a boot camp for Lassie. All kinds of challenges from Grand Pulse are waiting. Challenges, huh? To get us all ready to go wipe out Cocoon? We can wait here if Turnin' Seath sounds better. I have had enough of this! Where's the way out?! Way out? Who said there was one? Bring it on. I mean, we still need to eat food. Is made up. Maybe drink. I will end up a thief. But until that happens, I'm gonna make Sarah proud. I couldn't bring myself to admit that this tear meant goodbye. And that's why I kept searching for her.
but I didn't need to. Sarah was here the whole time, right here, watching over me. Now I get it. What this tear's been telling me is to not let our focus win. It's not the fallacy we should listen to. It's Sarah and Reigns. Do you know why? Because our focus doesn't matter. What matters to me is that we protect Cocoon. Whatever it takes. Same here. I'll help you do it. All right. I'm in. Mm -hmm. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, come on. When a chocobo agrees, you know you're on the right path. There you go. <laughs> That's well, right. Count me out. What? Mm -hmm. If you all want to go it on your own, then so will I. Oh, hey, Bang. Hey. Now? hey. Let Cocoon get what's coming. They hate us for being with C. What's it to me if they die? Better that than watch a friend go see. If you don't have the nerve for it, I'll do it myself. Go on alone. Get stronger. And smash Cocoon out of the sky. Oh, uh, well, internal conflict. And there's no coming back. You know what that means. Hi, Dolan's coming to sort you out, Fang. <laughs> this one's more of an iconic one, actually. Dolans are our salvation. If we can't decide what to do next, they come put us out of our misery. Wait, mm -hmm. so you haven't made up your mind yet. <clears throat> Why are you protecting me? What are you doing? Protecting one of our own. We can do without their brand of mercy. And we don't need a Falsy's orders either. I'm fighting this focus to the end. We all are. So please. Fight with us. <laughs> yeah! Not a bad little team comp. Hello there, buddy Bahamut. How are you doing? I'm going to use a Libra scope on you because I haven't used one in ages. Ow. Yeah, he likes to do a lot of combos, which is annoying. There we go. Right, diversity. Keep diversity on, I think, throughout the whole battle. Just because having someone to heal your entire team is, is always nice. Yeah, he does that a lot. He does that a metric shit ton. Maybe even two medics might be necessary. But that's fine. If you focus the medic, go for it. Oh, you know what? I do need two medics. Combat clinic it is. Come on, you. I want to challenge you, Bahamut. Little scrub. Entrench, motherfucker. Just try and do damage to me. I'm going to bring it all back to you in a second. There you go. Oh, you missed. Come on. Entrench. Tank it all. That's it. You don't do any damage. Now enjoy it all back to you. Oh, come on now. Right, do some more damage to him. That's it. See how much damage I don't actually take from him? Usually that combo does a lot. But I'm just not taking any damage from him apparently. Which is really handy. 
Come on, Bahama, I remember you being a lot tougher. This is actually one of the toughest Idolum fights as well. But yeah, next turn he should uh he should go stolt. There we go. Done. Welcome to the club, Mahomet. We're a pretty cool bunch of people. Look how cool he looks. He's like my favourite. There's a five star. Hammer Idolith and the level up for Fang's ATB gauge. Nice. Look, a new path. Maybe that thing did save us. I don't suppose you'd be willing to call it a sign of me being right. No. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Snow. Listen. Keep our eyes on the goal, and we'll figure something out. All right. Hey, Sarah. So I guess being a lassie doesn't have to mean you can't do what's right, does it? Hallelujah. We've got a crew. And now everyone's not complaining to one another. Indeed. Well, hurry up and decide then. Because you always question every cutscene we always get. It's like, oh, I don't want to do it. Yeah, I'll do it. It's fine. No, I don't want to do it. And there's a ship. Can we fly it? Oh, hey, look at that. What? Oh. An airship? And it's from Grand Pulse. It was one of this arc's weapons or something. That's a gate to Grand Pulse. Right. Hmm. So what? That's our exit? Pulse or bust? Could be one of Dysley's traps. Well, that's not good. Do you think it might take us to Eden? Mm -mm. I'm doing the flying. No more of these ships taking charge of our travel plan stuff. The only place this thing is taking us is where these boys tell it to. <laughs> really? That is a Grand Pulse ship. Really? <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, we're on borrowed time. So we might as well go. We get lucky, maybe we'll even turn up some way to get rid of these goofy tattoos. But there's no way to do that. You never know. Maybe we just didn't think to look for one. If nothing else, we know Cocoon's safe for the time being. I'd say it's worth going to take a look. Maybe. But what about your dad? I made him a promise. I promised him to keep going and do what I had to. He said only I would know what that was. The world's full of lies. There's no way of knowing what's right. All we can do is believe in ourselves. It's easy to sit back and let people trick you. Like how the Sanctum had us all thinking that a Lassie was some sort of monster. I'm done with their lies. Falsi, this whole focus thing. From here on out, I use my eyes. Think. And act. I might not make all the right choices, but as long as I'm the one who decided what to do, there's nothing to regret. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, let's do it. I'm with you. Bad choices <laughs> and all. <laughs> of course, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. Pulse is hell, you know. Oh, is it now? How many times have you been there? <laughs> None. But I want to go and see what it's like for myself. Okay, people. Oh, 
So, everybody in? Right, Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Off to hell we go. Goodbye, Fifark. Hope I never see you again. No one ever said the future be easy. saw the glimmer of a dream somewhere in the sky that night. The tiniest spark of hope that we could change our fate. Who could say? Off to Grand Pulse. Goodbye, Cocoon. It's been a fun 27 hours. But it's time we moved on. You did it! Yeah, I told you, didn't I? <laughs> Playful little critter, isn't he? Yeah, we'll play with someone else. <laughs> Happens all the time. He thinks we're lunch. Yeah, like on the seafood buffet. Seafood, cute. Guys, here it comes! <laughs> Fang! Get him! I'm on it! I might just have to get a little bit more screen time. Here goes. Hey, over here. You okay? Oh yeah, I'm great. Grab on. Sweet home. Welcome to Grand Pulse. A world wild and fragile, vibrant and untamed. Grand Pulse. It's a place where lives are ruled by the brutal struggle for survival and the callous and uncaring whim of the Thassian. There's no such thing as mercy. Only a never-ending string of trials that weed out the weak and leave only the strong. Reigns knew the truth. The purpose lying at the heart of all the Falsies' actions. Recalling their lost deity and returning the world to its former glory. People were never anything more than sacrifices.
and Cocoon's destruction? It's just a way to wake a sleeping god. But would bringing the Maker back into this world really lead to our salvation? The Maker created Falsi, and they, in their desperation to be reunited with the Maker, created Lassi. And Lassi? I wonder what we'll end up creating. As long as we could keep our spirits up, we'd find a way to change our fate. Somehow. You were having a dream. Mm -hmm. A pretty strange dream. Gran Pulse. Terra. Incognita. Yes, the game has finally begun. And it's actually a Final Fantasy game now. Well, almost. Hey, hey guys. Have any luck? No sign of anyone else. But we did find plenty of bloodthirsty wildlife and crumbling ruins. Long day? Well, guys, we've run out of places to search around here. Huh. Where's Hope? He's off with the chocobo, getting supplies. Hello. <laughs> you are by yourself. <laughs> it's Brent. What? We gotta find him. That's not good. This is Base Camp Valis Media. But yeah, boys, I'm gonna head up and end the episode here. Let's go ahead and save for now. Boop. So yeah, we are finally on chapter 11, a fruitless search. Which is awesome. Chapter 11 is uh, my personal favorite chapter in the game, bar chapter 7. So yeah, boys, in the next episode, we'll be taking a look at chapter 11. But until then, Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and until the next episode, goodbye.